Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can simply use Zendesk. The first thing you're going to see when you're going to click on home, you can get started and you can create your support email addresses. But we are going to skip everything we see here and I'm going to show you my own way how to understand this, okay? So you come here to dashboard. In dashboard, you're going to see all your tickets. You see open tickets by you. Ticket statistics good, bad or solved. And we will get to it, but the next thing I want to show you is next to the home get started, click views. In views, you're going to see unsolved tickets, unassigned tickets, unsolved all, recently, new tickets in your groups, spending tickets, recently solved tickets, unsolved tickets in your groups, suspended and deleted. So this is just, the, it's really simple. Now I can see quick view more and I can see all the views here. And I can also add a view if you want to. So you can add a view that never reply to this ticket. <laughs> when you go back to the ticket, you can simply see the tickets and click on it. The O means open. Click on it. I need help. Okay, so this is our first ticket. First, we see the example. This is like our me or like company or the person, the customer. And then you see the user type end user access can view and edit primary email and tags organization. And then we have the incident here. The customer, I need help. Select assignee, you can take it or someone can assign it. So I can like take it, followers. And this means an agent's admins light agents as followers to keep them informed of ticket progress. Follower names and addresses are not exposed in email. So this is like a watcher, a spectator. Then you can simply add the tags uh, that people can actually find it by the text. What was the problem about? Now, here we see the text here of the customer. On the right side, I can create as macro, merge into another ticket. I can mark it as a spam. I can delete it or I can print the ticket. Then I can simply reply to the customer. No problem, Morino, amigos. And then you can submit a spending and send it, answer it, right? Next thing, you can apply macro. Macro is something that's like, uh, is really good for saving time. Macro means, I will show you. When you go to settings and you go to macros, a macro is prepared response or action that agents use to respond to support requests. There are two types, personal macros created for an individual user and shared macros created by the administrator for everyone. And you can see right here that we got pre-created these macros and you can add another macro. This can really, really automate your and optimize your team and time. So Apple macro, customer not responding, right? And now on the right side, you can add also user notes and on the right below, I see the interactions here. I can close the tab. I can stay on the ticket. So when I'm going to submit a spending, I can close the tab. So I can submit a solved pending open. I can go on the right side, submit a solved, right? And voila, ticket has been updated. When I go back to the tickets, Voila, I don't have it anymore. Right? Recently updated tickets. We got it. Recently solved tickets. I can see it right here and it got S as solved. The same thing is happening with this ticket too. Tada! Voila, here we got it. Pretty simple, pretty easy, right? I can reply again. And make it as a public reply, etc. On the right side, you can also see application right top, five more recent tickets, user data, MailChimp activity, if you want to directly from MailChimp, and that's pretty much it. So this is how the views work. Next is the reporting here that you can take me to explore. And this is where you would see the reporting of everything. So this is where you'll see your reports and let's go to the settings in settings. You're going to see overview. Okay. So we got a usages, triggers, views, automations, people. I can simply invite users to Zendesk. Then I got to see the user fields here. And 
Dragon Field tab to activate fields. So I can activate the fields here. Then you get organization field, the same thing, brands. Presented support, multi-brand support teams can tailor their service. Then you see views here. And this is what I was talking about. You can add a more views, just like add a view. And you can add a description, who has access to the view. Then you have macros and macros that I was talking about. There's like pre-created answer, response, tags. Text are words or combination of words. You can use add more context. The tag cloud below is generated based on 100 most used tags. Zendesk. And I'm going to see all the tickets with Zendesk. Then I got to see the tickets fields here. Assignee, group, priority, type, ticket form. And now again, you can simply choose it. Like what kind of form you want. You can add a form even, and you can create your own form, right? Dynamic content, the same thing. Now, then you're gonna see the team, like the channels here, then you can play around with the supported addresses. You can edit it. Then you get like Twitter here. You can add your company Twitter account as a channel, support and convert tweets to tickets. Tweets between your Twitter account and Twitter users are kept in tickets. So when someone is going to write and send a message on Twitter, you will see right here. I think even YouTube or someone is using this. They are replying all the time. They're not actually replying. Let me show you YouTube team. And team to team YouTube. And when you would come here to Twitter replies, they're always replying based on language, based on everything. And you see it right here. So then you can also add a Facebook widget text talk, channel integrations, routing account. You can add a favicon, really play around it. And this is pretty much it. I mean, there is nothing else that I should should talk about and can talk about. Triggers, automations, close for ticket four days after status is set to solved, and it will be like be deleted, and you can play around it as much as you want. So yeah, and as I mentioned, you can all go also to get started and create support email addresses, like sales, jobs, info, hello. You can set up your team and invite people. You can invite them as agents or admin, or you can create a simple help center, add a FAQ, etc. So yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, uh, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.